Dick, first of all, thank you for your time. Southampton this weekend in a game I'm sure you and the players are very much looking forward to. Yeah, I'm looking forward to every game because uh, I was really happy the second half, the way we played, especially the first 30 minutes. That's the way we all like, that we can play more and longer. But what I have seen in the second half, yeah, that's what I like. That's also the way I like to play. A return home to the Stadium of Light as well, and something that we need to use to our advantage. Yeah, we have to get an advantage because you see the results uh, last week and also uh, the game hill against Liverpool. You don't expect that. A little bit strange, all, but we have to do it by ourselves, and uh, especially in home games, we have to get results. This reason that I was so disappointed against Crystal Palace was 4 1. But uh, that, that cannot happen on, on a Saturday. Your first home game was a very memorable one against Newcastle, and we need to recapture that environment, don't we, and that atmosphere this weekend? Well, we have to realise that we don't get uh, many chances. We only have five, five, five games, and uh, there's two home games, and we have to get a result at home. And, uh, but again, if they have the fight, fighting spirit, what they showed the second half, then I have a good feeling about it. It's important to give the fans something to cheer about as well, isn't it? Well, I was so happy uh, also for the fans, the second half, the way they stood behind the team. Mm -hmm. But also after the game, when we left the pitch, very emotional. Mm -hmm. A team chasing Europe in Southampton, though, so it will be a tough game. Yeah, but everybody said every, every game is, is, is difficult. Uh, the good thing is that it is a team who likes to play football. It is not kick and rush. It is uh, they like to build up, and uh, but it gives us also the the, the, the possibility to to come in. And uh, well, let's see who will be the best on that day. Mm -hmm. Southampton manager Ronald Koeman, somebody you know very well, I'm sure as well. Very well, a, a, a brilliant footballer, by the way, mm -hmm. because he's very down to earth. But he was a brilliant player. And, 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 a, and a great manager as well, and he showed that as well by, uh, by such sentence. So we are all very proud of him. They had great success, haven't they, this season? Did you know that they were going to have that success when he came in? Well, yeah, yeah, well, because I know what he did also by other clubs and also what he did last three years by Feyenoord. He was very successful. We was not a great team, but uh, the way what he did this year with such sentence is excellent. Stephen Fletcher went for a scan last week. Is there any update on him? Yeah, hopefully maybe he can tra uh, train on Friday, but I think for Saturday it is too, too quick. A boost, though, in the fact that he will be available this season? Well, I don't know yet because he, this morning he went for, uh, for a scan. So yet I don't know the outcome. One player who we can call upon again is Sebastian Larsson. He's a very important player for the team, isn't he? Yeah, in principle, Lars is a good, a good player, an important player, but everybody... Who is in the squad is important. We, we, we need everybody. It is not 11 players, it's the, the players who are all in the squad. And Sepp is one of them. And what will your main message be to the team going out at home this weekend? The, on Saturday? No, there's only one message that we get three points.